Okay, we're on. Okay, so Denver just got back from looking around at the great gray nest, and I don't even know what happened today. When he said he was back, I ran over here with the video camera. So tell me what happened today. I'm nervous to hear. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Uh, I know you knew I was going up there today, or many of you did, and maybe you heard me walking around and hooting a little bit. They even saw you. If, oh, they saw me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They wonder why you don't wave. I didn't wave. Uh, <laughs> I was busy. So, uh, and I did hoot a little bit, and it wasn't the great grade, so you know that. Uh, what I did is I just uh, went to the site, and I, first of all, I kind of just walked around and looked around the roost sites that we've known before to see if there's any fresh whitewash or pellets or, or birds roosting. Uh... So I checked that. I also checked the Great Horned Owl Roost sites, and so I didn't see an owl, you guys. I just, just so you know, I, uh, I no I, owls, no, no owls whatsoever. No great grays, no great horns, no, no great owls. horns, no great grays. I know you've heard the great horns still, but I couldn't find them in the area that I thought that was the major roost. What uh, about whitewasher pellets? Were whitewasher great pellets? Uh, couldn't find a major roost no uh, for a great horn or a great gray. I found some of. The, old, you know, what I thought were the great gray roost sites and okay. the pellets, but, uh, but it wasn't you know, fresh. nothing that was, you know, looked really good, like they'd been there a long time. So then I meandered around the nest. Uh, I did whack the nest to see if the solid owl was in the nest hole, which is out of your view. Normally the solid owls will puff their heads up uh, from a nest hole if you hit it and scratch it. So I tried for that. So nothing there. And then I, I moved off to the east and check the sites down along the fence line, looking for pellets and any kind of sign that the um, great grays were around. Didn't see anything or find any pellets. And then I kind of moved to the north a little bit where I had seen the last time or twice, actually, when Eric and I were out there, we had seen the great grays whenever that was, 10 days ago or so. Was Erica with you today? Erica was not there, okay. no. I haven't heard back from her and, and all that yet. So... Uh, so I did find a couple uh, stick nests. Uh, they were in lodgepole pines. They're made by red tail hawks. I was kind of thinking, okay, she's got to be in one of these mm -hmm. nests. And uh, she wasn't in <laughs> the great um, gray. And then I moved over to a big uh, kind of clump of mistletoe that I had seen last time I was out there and thought maybe she was going to be in the mistletoe and didn't see anything there. So then I kind of backtracked a little bit and uh, zigged and zagged, um, hooted a little bit. And uh, there's no sign anywhere in there, you guys. Mm. So uh, it's a big area, and uh, where they, they, I think they just up and left, and, and I really? just don't know why. Um, I've been thinking a lot about it. You know, is it prey related? Again, uh, we only saw that one delivery. Something that jumped in my mind was, did Packy make such a mess there that the owls don't like it and they can't get through it? They didn't want to lay an egg there. Uh, so it's Packy's fault. <laughs> so, uh, so everything was going through my mind, and I don't know what the answer is, but we're going to to try to do it anyway, and, and you know, keep going and see if we can figure it out. When I left, one of the maintenance workers mentioned that sometimes he's seen them over on the other side of this area, and he said that him and his son were going to go out there and, and give me a haul, and they're going to do some looking. So uh, that'll be probably the last chat I give you for a little while here. Um, I will not be communicating with you for about a week or so. Well, and I'm going out of town, and it, if I'm not here, that's correct. probably no communication is going to happen. We have an owl workshop coming in. Uh, the first people come in tonight, and we have a week-long uh, workshop that we do every year mm -hmm. on how to find owls and survey for them and, you know, band and trap and do things like that. We do it annually. And Liberty's gone, and she is your source of information, and she's on vacation and I'll let her tell you the destination if she wants, but <laughs> she'll be out of communication. So uh, this is it. Uh, I'll talk to you when Liberty Well, hang comes on. Back. Bef before we <laughs> sign off, where do we go from here with Gray Grays? Okay, where do we go from here with Gray Grays? Well, we're continuing to check our sites. Uh, we have located another nest, but it's not set up for a camera. So we're trying to move that process forward if possible. Uh, no guarantees on mm -hmm. that one. Uh, but we do have a bird on a nest. She's been on a nest a couple weeks now. Uh, but, you know, it's it's tough. It's in the woods, and there's a lot of logistics that have to be taken care of and mm -hmm. a lot of coordination with Explore and then people who put these things together. So it's not an easy task um, putting mm -hmm. these things up, finding the nest, keeping in touch with you guys, which we love so much, and all that. So uh, 
we have that. Now we're also going to open up uh, yours truly, Mr. Great Horned Owl, and Mrs. Great Horned Owl, who have been uh, whacking uh, Charlie over there. Mm -hmm. uh, that seems to have taken. And care a lot of itself. viewers watch them through the winter, of course. Well, the Great Horns, we're going to probably have that camera up and going in the next uh, couple days or so, so you'll be able to see that. The Long Eared Owl cam is being worked on today. We have a female on a nest, and we just have to change things. So it's it's really difficult. Because the owls, you know, eagles and ospreys, in a sense, they're going to use those nests every year. So you stick a camera up and it's pretty easy. The owls aren't necessarily going to do that, so it's a lot more difficult. Mm -hmm. So we have to work pretty hard at it. Uh, anyway, so that's what we're hoping for in within the next few days. We'll have uh, osprey, great horn, long-eared, and I guess there's a goose in the red-tailed nest. And, yeah, off and on. And so you can check on that. And, oh, but uh, no great gray. And we don't know about great grays yeah. yet. We'll continue to look for the missing pair, whatever mm -hmm. their names are. I don't know what they are. <laughs> and so, I don't uh, think they have names. Okay, they don't have names. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's fine by me. <laughs> and then um, we'll see what happens with the new nest. Yeah, okay. All right. Any Thanks, other Dave. questions, Liberty, before I sign <laughs> no, off? I'll let you sign off. Okay. okay. All right, I hope this helps. We appreciate your patience. Appreciate all your comments. And, um, yeah, keep it coming, and, and, uh, and I'll see you when Liberty gets back. Thanks. Okay. Bye.